So here is the motion problem. Uh, it says that a 500 kg car initially is, so the car's mass is 500 kg and at, it's initially at rest and pushed by a constant horizontal force for a distance of 30 meters. At which point the car has a kinetic energy of 18,000 joules. So kinetic energy is 18,000 joule and we need to find the force, the magnitude of the force. Basically this was uh, from a SAT prep book and uh, it was a MCQ question so I have just uh, I'm trying to solve the problem so I have just cut that uh, part. So we need to find the magnitude of the force. So what I will do here, I will try to uh, write, first I have written what the things that we know, this is mass and then the distance that the mass works is 30 meters, so that's also there. So we need to find the value of force, so I will write down the formula we know. The kinetic energy is given and we know that kinetic energy is the expression a formula of kinetic energy is half mv squared. This is what the kinetic energy. And so we know mass, we know kinetic energy, so we can find velocity, velocity square. But before uh, solving it, I will I will write down what else formula we can use. So we need to find f finally, and it says the force well, works for a distance of 30 meters there. That means Initially the car was at rest and the force, when the force was working, it had an acceleration. When the st force stopped working, the car stops to accelerate because we know from second law of motion that F is equal to MA. So if there is no F, if F stops to work, acceleration will become zero as well. So what will happen? The car won't stop because acceleration is zero, that doesn't mean the velocity is zero. Whatever velocity it had at that time, at that point, that velocity will continue, to, it, the, the car will keep moving at constant velocity from that point. So we, that velocity comes here. So we, know, we don't know A and we don't know F either. So we have to find the initial velocity is zero, U is equal to zero. And V is our V here because that V will give at that point the kinetic energy is 18,000 uh, joule. That means at that point the velocity is the velocity with which it is uh, moving. There is the velocity will not increase anymore. That's the uh, point where the velocity stops uh, increasing and because the force is uh, gone, the acceleration has become zero. So if we recall this formula, we know. Uh, initial velocity we know distance uh, so what else do we know we don't know V yet and we don't know A either but if we write this thing we don't we have no information about time so we don't we wouldn't write the time equations we can write this equation V square is equal to U square plus 2 A S so here we have S we know and U we know because that's zero And we also know V because we we can find V from here. So what I will do first, let's do let's find V here. So V square is equal to sorry, V square is equal to two times K E divided by M. And that is two times eighteen thousand divided by sorry eighteen thousand divided by five hundred. So V square is seventy two. Let's leave it like that. It's square, but uh, let's leave it like that. Because here also we have square. So what I want to do here is I want to substitute A with V square. So U is 0. If we go back at is the, in this equation, we have 2, two A S equals to V square. So A we can write V square over 2 S. And V square is 72 and S is 30. So we have like this. So this is 36 divided by 30. So that's 6 over 5. That is our A. So now we can find F because F is what we needed to find. F is equal to M times A. 
so m is 500 times 6 over 5 so that gives us 600 newton that should be the that should be the force so what i tried to do here is i mean this is evident that this problem has uh, the force is not force is what we want to find and no time is given but there's a, they've put it the problem in a little bit tricky way i wouldn't say much but just just that it says that the force works for a distance instead of time so that means when we say f is equal to ma we end up having two unknowns in that equation so we can't do anything with that but then we have this kinetic energy thing which is given and here we we know that since we know mass we know kinetic energy we can find the velocity and the velocity is the velocity which is at the end of the acceleration so final velocity acceleration uh, final velocity is uh, that v and initial velocity is zero so we can use one of these equations since we don't know t we we didn't use any t equations uh, the equations that involve t there were two other equations one is v is equal to u plus a t uh, sorry a t and the other one is s is equal to half a t square half u t plus sorry u t plus half a t square that's the other equation u t plus half a t square so we didn't use any of those because those these two had t but this one doesn't have any t so we could use that because s we know new so this is how uh, this problem could be done